It's Modern Monday Madness, and today we have a new knife to show you. This is from Tactile Knife Company. Now, one thing that's unique about this, as you can see, it has the Snex lock. It's the same lock that is in the Vision FG by the same designer. But I think it looks a little bit more like the Shark lock than it does the Snex lock, which is in the Vision FG. So this is a great knife to compare it to. As you can see the style of the blade is very similar it's got your drop almost like sheep's foot type blade and a continuous curve although the tactile has more of a continuous curve i'm not even going to try and pronounce the name of this knife you can read it in the title and maybe find it online somewhere so the vision fg has a little more upsweep in the blade but the tactile knife company this thing starts with a C. It's a really weird sounding name. Doesn't have quite as much upsweep, but it has more of a curve in the blade. Curved edges cut better. This is an excellent knife. I've been carrying this for the last few days. The performance is great. Although I do have a few little issues with it. First of all, it didn't come super sharp. When the knife costs upwards of $250 you expect it to come razor sharp the other thing which is typical for me the edge angle is a little bit too obtuse so I will be reprofiling the edge and going I'm going to start with 15 degrees per side and we'll see how this performs the steel on this is magna cut which is steel has been all the rage lately and it is a really good steel there are a lot of reasons for it but if you have elder knives that are in the good steel, like this is an S35VN, you don't really need to go to this. Yes, you'll gain a little bit. It's close in edge retention. You will gain some toughness. But I question in a folding knife, is it really worth it? Now, in a, in a fixed blade, the extra toughness is definitely wanted. So if you have similar edge holding, but you can gain toughness and not lose in stain resistance, it's a better steel for sure one thing it will do and this is what I want to test I am going to think the extra toughness and the extra stability is going to let me run a lower edge angle on the magnet cut than what you can on the s35 VN that's something that I do want to test so like I said I'm going to start out at 15 degrees per side and then probably drop it down to 13 degrees per side and we'll see how it performs I like the cutting performance of a low edge angle but not all steels will have edge stability at that low of an angle now another knife that I want to compare this to is a Chris Reeve in cozy this one has the Incinco blade Let's see if we can fit everything in here as we can see it's also a very similar blade shape you have this drop here which is like a sheep's foot, but different. And you also have the continuous curve. Now this knife is straight and the point is close to being centered with the handle. Also on this one, your point is not too far off from being centered with the handle, even though you have an upswept blade. On the Vision FG, that point is also fairly centered. So instead of having a typical belly, the whole blade is upswept a little bit. But more so on this. See on the, let me demonstrate something. On the Chris Reeve, okay, you're, the knife is going to hit before the full blade comes in contact. The handle will get in the way. Here we see you can get the full blade in contact with the cutting surface same thing on the vision FG even more so on the on the vision FG so if you were going to use these knives in the kitchen I'm gonna say that vision FG would be number one the tactile knife company would be number two and the Incozy would be number three so you can use these knives on the cutting board 
without having to have the knife hang over the edge of the table. And that upswept also keeps, keeps your hand out of the way when you're cutting stuff. So it's a really good design. And also as you're cutting, it's going to put the blade on an angle and it's going to give a little bit of shearing action. I know I prefer, in fixed blades, I prefer a knife that is canted down a little bit so as you're cutting it does the same thing with the shearing angle. But this is going to work the same way and with a continuously curved blade, you'll get a, that increased cutting performance. Now you can get up on here and just do some delicate work just with the tip if you want to do a little bit of carving. Let's check out the blade length. Three and a quarter inch blade length with about three and a sixteenth cutting edge. Your handle length comes in at about four and a quarter and your inner grip area at maybe three and three and three eighths, three and five sixteenths. One thing that I do find with this knife, it does fit comfortably in the hand, but my hand takes up the whole knife and actually comes outside of the inner grip area. So my fingers wrapped a little bit over the point. It is not uncomfortable. It's perfectly comfortable. Actually, this handle is very comfortable. This point isn't sharp, so it's not, it doesn't dig into you. It doesn't bother you. And I don't squeeze hard on that point either but very comfortable knife. Jimping up here for your thumb, although this jimping could stand to be a little bit sharper. It's, it doesn't do all that much, it's very little. This is not a choil area. If I was to try and put my finger in here, you could see what would happen. I do not like choils and knives. The only choils and knives that I actually like using are the ones on Spyderco's where you have that little nub right here for a little bit of a guard. I don't like anything where you have an exposed point that's just a, a recipe for getting cut. And if you're out in the field, you can get cut badly, and that's not good. This knife is also fairly heavy. Let's bring a scale in here. Four point seven ounces. Vision FG. Four ounces. And the Incozy, 4.7 ounces. So the weight is exactly the same as the Incozy. They're both 4.7 ounces. Now with this next lock, the knife is very fidgetable. Now I will say this has a pretty strong spring on it. This spring is stronger than no spring on Division FG. So if you have little sissy fingers, maybe this knife isn't for you. But I find it to be excellent. I like the security of the lock. You can even spidey flick it. Although you have to have your finger positioned just perfectly. It's something that's gonna take a little bit of getting used to, but it does work. Now, take a look at blade length compared to the Incozy. The Incozy is just, just a hair more blade length, but I'm going to say not really enough to make any kind of a meaningful difference. It's very little. Your blade height, I think the Incozy is a little bit shorter on the blade height. Handles, would be pretty similar if it didn't have this point in here. But like I said, this point isn't such a hard point that it causes you issues. The knife is very comfortable in hand, even though it's a stretch for my hand. You know, I wish the knife was just a little bit bigger and had just a little bit more handle. That's one place where the, the Incozy isn't bad. This is a large Incozy. So that fits the hand nicely, but even though this fits the hand a little better, I'll tell you what, this knife is still more comfortable. I don't like these multiple finger grooves, and I'm also not a big fan of frame locks. All those things mess with the surface of the knife. They give you ir irregularities that your hand has to form to. So overall, 
I do prefer the ergonomics of the tactile knife company's offering. Like I said, I'm not going to try and butcher the name of this thing. It feels really comfortable in the hand. I, I really like this knife a lot. So that's a quick look. This is also in Magna Cut. These will run you $250. These will run you probably close to $600, which is a better deal. In my mind, no question, this is a better deal. This Magna Cuts run 63 to 64 HRC. Same thing as the Incozy. Approximately the same blade length, approximately the same blade style. In my opinion, better lock, more fidgetable, stronger, longer lasting. I've never been, like I said, I've never been a fan of frame locks. And these have that ceramic ball, which is not supposed to wear. But, you know, I really don't know. Time will tell. I used to have three different Chris Reeve knives. I've already sold my large Sebenza, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to sell this large and cozy because I like this knife better. And I'm going to keep the Umnums on in Magna Cut with a Tanto blade. Just so I have one Chris Reeve. But with this knife in the collection, I see no need to have this one. And I can easily sell this one for more than double the cost of the Tactile Knife Company's offering. The covers on this are aluminum. The hardware is titanium. But the pocket clip is stainless steel. And the pocket clip is a nice design. It slides up over the, the brim of your pocket very easily. And it holds you know, pretty good. It's got enough retention. It's about the right balance. It's, it's the balance that I like. It goes in, in and out of the pocket easily, but it's got enough retention to stay there. This may actually be an improvement over the shark lock. It's a little stiffer, very solid lockup. This knife runs on bearings. It's just a great offering for a great price. So if you're interested in checking out a quality knife with a Magna Cut blade, I would definitely look at this before I would look at a Chris Reeve. We'll see you on the next one.